Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be playing Booga Booga. And the thing about this game is that I've been playing it like crazy. I don't know what's so addicting about it, but it's so much fun. And so I wanted to show you some of the tricks that I came up with um, while playing this game. Alright, so right here we have two fish nets, okay? So the way we built this fish net is, uh, you know, here we go, we have we, a, a raw morsel and two leaves, right? And what I want to build is an automatic fish net, okay? And what I mean by that, I mean uh, an automatic fishing system. So, here's what we do. We have two of these right here. And then after we have this, we're going to place a, t a chest like literally right on top of it. And we're going to angle it a little bit sideways like this. So that it lands it right on the on, on top of the fish right here. Okay, so we're going to build another one. Uh, so we have to get some log here. We're going to go ahead and chop this down and get some logs. And we're going to be building this awesome automatic fish trap. Um, because... You know, the thing about the regular fish trap is that you can put a fire camp right next to it, but it won't go into your chest, all right? So it means that you have to collect it every single time that you want to eat something. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, and then, and this is much more organized when you do it this way. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get some logs to build a fire camp, and then literally, it's so simple. It's like this, right? And then we're just going to have to put a campfire right in between, literally like that. And here we go, watch this. This is the amazing part. Once this fish cooks up, once it finally, you know, fit, finish, it's going to literally just pop right into my chest. Watch this. Three, two, one. Bam! Right there. All right. And then here's go. here comes another one. And you can keep on doing this constantly. Three or four would be fine. Um, I would recommend putting another one right here. And we can also double our, our camp um, fire. So let's go ahead and uh, get some logs over here. We can double it, and then we can actually make it uh, basically, basically spawned quicker um, by cooking it faster. Okay, so we need another log, and it seems like I can't find another log. But basically, you can put it right here, and literally, that's it. Okay, here's the next tip. All right, so whenever you build a boat, okay, if you build any kind of boat, especially like a, a steel raft, which is the best boat right now, um, you can actually use it, and then you can actually break it. Okay, so let's break it, and then we can collect our steel bar, so no one can steal our boats. And uh, sometimes it can dis despawn, so you you might want to do that just to uh, get that up, okay? Here's the next thing I want to tell you guys. Whenever you guys build civilization, what do you need? You need water, you need fire, you need food, you need animals. Here they are. You have this guy, he, he gives you armor, so you can... This is a f perfect starting up point. So I'm going to go ahead and build my own tribe. And you can also put a totem if you want. And I like to put my totem... Oh, wait, this one already exists? Okay, let's do teal. Wait, what? Teal is already... Okay, so let's do blue then. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on the totem. And people recognize, oh, that is my spot. And, you know, I'm level 133, so people, I mean 134, so people are like, oh, I don't think they want to mess with them. But some people actually do, and it doesn't matter what level you are. That's why I love this game. It doesn't matter what level you are. If you're level 100 and you're level 10, you can still kill me by being level 10, okay? So... Literally, that's all you gotta do. You gotta put the chest. Um, let's put the campfire down. Well, I don't have uh, the log anymore. But like I said, you need the uh, civilization, right? So you need some wood. You need some water. You need some food. And literally, everything is right here. Here's the snail where you can get the food. Inside right here is a, a, a mining place, and you can actually break these um, rocks to build your fortress. So let's go ahead and build a fortress really quick. One, one really quick gate. Um, I like to put a dock around my surroundings near the water so people can't actually get on. Well, if they get onto my dock, I can actually kill them from my dock, which is better than, you know, having them come to the land because once they're on land, they can actually run away. So you want to deter them from getting onto the land. So let's go ahead and put a, um, uh, let me see, a stone wall. Okay, so I'm going to put a stone wall like right here. And I like to place it really far out. And the reason why is because they can't just jump in right here, right? So they can't just walk through this like this with their boats. And so it's going to deter them kind of a bit. But basically, that's how you build this automatic fishing system. And look how much fish I got. Literally, as much as you want. And it's automatic. That means that you can walk away. All you have to do is put fire. You don't have to collect them. You don't have to do anything. It's really, really good. It's really, really organized. And it, and it reduces lag because it's not all over the place. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys. And um, I hope you guys have fun as much as I do on this game. I absolutely loved it. And if I, ha if I come up with new tips and tricks, I will definitely let you guys know. Anyways, thanks for watching. And this video is for you guys who have been watching um, 
and have been supporting me. So first come, first serve, guys. So anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.